if you know what you're talking about. I'm on a journey of discovering Xbox as a lifelong PlayStation fanboy. The first game on my quest was Halo Combat Evolved. This time around, I feel I should tackle another game from the early Xbox days that I never played and only heard about. Fable. At first, the game felt underwhelming and I was immediately jarred by some performance issues, but I kind of like this game. On a technical level, I have very little good to say about it. The game is plagued by frame rate stuttering, camera glitches and weird camera bobbing. Even though I am playing on a Series X, objects and NPCs pop into existence in the distance in towns along with heavy frame rate drops. The game sometimes freezes on quest complete reward screens and even crashed after I finished the arena quest. Besides performance issues, which might just be a backwards compatibility problem, I do have some issues with the design, which stands out even more when I think back to the other games that were released along with Fable in 2004. The level design and movement is stiff and linear, with zero to little environmental puzzling and platforming, even though there are multiple pathways to take. NPCs respawn when you enter and exit an area, which is something I personally do not like. I wish NPCs would stay dead, at least for a while. The swordplay, weapons and armor types are quite limited for an RPG style game and are of little use when you don't use magic to knock around and stagger enemies. Bosses and mini bosses can be cheesed easily and some even glitch out when you spam certain magical abilities. The hero vs villain morality system was probably novel at the time, along with a love and marriage system. I tried marrying shopkeepers to see if I can get the cut from the shop, but the marriage part never came. I could marry other random people and get some money back though. The story is quite short. I thought I was only halfway through the game when it hit me with the last quest warning. The weird camera close-ups and bad animation during cutscenes made me giggle more than the flat jokes that came through dialogue. The story is pretty basic. Save woman, defeat bad guy. Maybe this changes on the villain playthrough, but I'd rather play the next game than replay this one. When I think back to what I was playing in 2004 when Fable released, I remember Jack 3 and Prince of Persia Warrior Within taking all of my time while my friends oh, ranted shit. and raved about GTA San Andreas, as the older adults were showing off their PCs with the Rise of Nations and Age of Empires. Compared to Fable 1, these games had more complex stories and bigger worlds. In a lot of ways, they are better games, which makes me wonder why Fable sold so well. Was it easier to sell this type of game in 2004? In South Africa. Listen properly. In South Africa, where I'm from, the PlayStation 2 dominated everything else in the local gaming space when Fable released, leaving this game hidden under a pile of popular PS2 games, which is strange if you look at sales numbers. The game sold 3 million copies, which is double that of Jack 2 and 3, and only 500,000 copies less than Metal Gear Solid 3. I have yet to play the sequels to Fable, and it would be interesting to see how my feelings change about this game.